Hello, my adorable squidlings. I hope you're having an absolutely squidlicious day. It is Katie here, and I am going to be unboxing a Palletful Packs box. I know in the past I have been sent these boxes for free for review, but actually I bought this one. I'm very excited. This is the Palletful Packs Petite box, and this one is a cheaper subscription than their regular subscription box, and you still get some really nice supplies in it. Basically, Palletful Packs is an art subscription box that you get every single month, and it comes with four to six items, and this box is ideal for beginners, professionals, and anybody really wanting to get into the Palletful Packs box. This box is $23.95 and free shipping to the United States, and as far as I know, Palletful Packs does not ship outside of the United States, so apologies for that. So, uh, if you are interested in Palletful Packs, I will have a link in the description below so you can go check them out. So, now let's get on to opening it. I'm very excited. So, first off is my favorite part about this box, the worms! Yay! Actually, it's my favorite part of the box until I have to clean it up later, and then I'm not too fond of it. So, okay, first off in the box, I'm noticing that they didn't add a card, at least not on top. So first off in the box is a couple of art alternatives stumps. Uh, you can never have too many of these. I have a million, but that's okay because I need a million and two. Then we've got an art alternatives 5x7. I always butcher this word, so I'm just going to call it a chamois. Um, it's like a chamois chamois i don't know how to pronounce this you you can blend stuff with this like charcoal and uh, graphite and oil pastels mm, okay if you know me at all you know that my least favorite medium is oil pastels so this is gonna be fun okie dokie so we've got 12 faber castell oil pastels now i've never used a really good brand like faber castell so maybe that's just the reason i hate them so much oh my gosh there's so much packaging so this is like a little pamphlet thing but we're not going to go too much into that so let's look at the goods so we've got just like your basic colors from white to black very nice Looks like we've got a couple of these. I haven't seen these since back in pigment and palette. Um, these are Sharpie peel-off china markers. So you don't really sharpen them. You just peel um, this off. It's They're actually really weird. But I know for a fact these can write on things like ceramic and glass, um, just other than paper. So these are actually a really versatile um, kind of pencil thing. I don't really even know what they're considered. I guess they're a pencil. But we got white and black. Then we got a 2B, my favorite character from Nier Automata, Tombow pencil. This is Tombow Mono pencil. This is dusty because of the worm, so that's okay. I actually have another one of these that I have not sharpened, but I'll sharpen this because I want to use it for this video. And then lastly, something I'm actually very excited about. This is a paper sample set of Stillman and Burn sketchbook papers. I've heard a lot about Stillman and Burn, and I know that a lot of artists like them, so I'm actually really excited to try them out. So it's got the little paper card telling you what's in it. And then down here, it actually tells you um, which particular paper. So we've got an alpha series, uh, a beta series. Ooh, this one's nice and thick. A gamma series, which is like a really cool ivory color. Delta series, which is nice and thick and also ivory. Epsilon series. Zeta series. Ooh, we got a nice dark one. Nova series. Another Nova series in gray. And another Nova series in white. And then just talking about the stuff. I am very excited about these. I'm probably going to use one of the darker colored papers, but I cannot wait to try these out for different media. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so here is everything we got in the box. Even though I'm not really excited about the oil pastels, I am rather excited about everything else in the box. So uh, hopefully we can make the oil pastels work. I suppose um, I can do anything I set my mind to. So if you'd like, I'm going to do an illustration with all of these supplies and try to make the best of it. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. So I started off by taking the craft colored Nova series paper from the Stillman and Burn sketchbook pack. And I started out sketching my design with the Tombow Mono Pencil. Um, sorry, my hair keeps getting in the way there. Um, but I actually ended up going back with a different pencil to sketch out some lighter lines. I'm more used to using an H pencil and 2B was just really dark. So um, there were some parts that you might see a different pencil. But I did try my best to use the 2B pencil as much as possible. 
So I wanted to go with something a little different than what I normally do, a little bit of a different perspective on the face, um, a little bit of a different theme in general. Um, and while I really, really like the sketch, I, <laughs> I butchered it when I colored. I don't like oil pastels. I, uh, they're more suitable for larger pieces and this paper really wasn't that big and um, I don't know, it just, it wasn't working out for me guys. <laughs> so I tried to make the best of it. I tried to work with it. Oh hi, you can see all of my hair. I am super sorry guys. But I tried to make the best of it and I hope that you can see that. Um, I really tried. I got my hand in it. This got everywhere. I forgot how messy this medium is because I never use oil pastels. Um, I don't know. I, I know there are some people that make absolutely beautiful pieces of art using oil pastels and then there's me who can't do anything to save their life with oil pastels. But I really did try so I suppose that's the best part. Uh, to get finer details I went in with the Sharpie pencil. Um, it still really wasn't that fine of a detail but it was better than nothing. Um, and then I blended a lot of it with the uh, chamois. And then here I am going in with the white. The white was really not as opaque as I thought it would be, uh, which was kind of disappointing. So I go in with a gray, which for some reason is a little bit more opaque. Um, and I'll color in her hair with that gray. Uh, and then I tried to leave, actually I did leave the skin mostly this color with some pencil shading just because I really didn't think that... I could do very good skin shading in oil pastels. I didn't have the confidence for that one. Um, and I also add like a glowy effect with the black like blobby things with some blue. Uh, and I actually thought it gave it a really cool effect. So I am glad that I did that. All in all, this box was really fun, but would I go back and use these oil pastels again? Probably not. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't like them. <laughs> I'm sorry for everybody that likes oil pastels. I just, for some reason, it is like the hardest medium for me to wrap my head around. So, I don't know. Maybe that means I should start practicing. Who knows? But anyway, um, the video is coming to a close very soon. Like I said earlier in the video, well, I didn't say it. I typed it. But this box was brought to you by all of my patrons. So, thank you so much, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you want to be a patron, link will be on the screen. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute little squid pod, you can certainly do so by hitting the subscribe button. Also, there's a little bell button next to it that keeps you updated on when I upload new videos and you don't want to miss those. So, until next time, toodaloo!